Israel's unilateral ceasefire goes into effect in Gaza as Hamas says it will fight until all Israeli troops leave the area. You're watching the Lunchtime News with me, James Chow. It's just gone midday in Beijing as we begin with the latest from the Middle East. Exactly four hours ago, Israel began a unilateral ceasefire in the Gaza Strip that ends, for at least for now, a three-week Israeli offensive into the area that's left nearly 1,200 people dead. But Hamas insists it will continue fighting until all Israeli troops leave Gaza. My colleague Zhang Yajing has the latest on that. For the moment, Israel has announced a unilateral halt to its bombardment. Israel's unilateral ceasefire went into effect at 2 a.m. local time. Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert says Israel's goals have been achieved. With the sum of our achievements in this operation and the achievement of our goals, the cabinet decided to accept my suggestion and to announce a ceasefire. From 2 a.m. tonight, Israel will hold operations in the Gaza Strip and will continue being prepared for any other operations inside and around the Gaza Strip. As hours passed, residents in Gaza City could hear the long familiar drone of Israeli unmanned reconnaissance aircraft overhead the no sound of gunfire. But Hamas reiterated it would not respect any ceasefire as long as Israeli soldiers remain inside Gaza. I think uh, it's not a declaration of ceasefire, it's a declaration of an Israeli failure in the military operation. The, their only success was the killing of the, the civilians. Hundreds of children were killed, hundreds of women were killed, and they couldn't achieve any important target as they, as they said. Hamas says the continued presence of Israeli troops in Gaza will lead to more clashes. Meanwhile, Gaza militants report they launched eight rockets into Israel around the time Olmert first announced the ceasefire late on Saturday evening. So far, there have been no reports of casualties. Zhang Yajin, CCTV. Well, let's stay with the story. With the Israeli decision to go ahead with a unilateral ceasefire, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon is pressing ahead with his own efforts to restore peace to Gaza. He's also calling for a timetable for the withdrawal of Israeli troops. This unilateral declaration of ceasefire should also be accompanied by a time plan of uh, Israeli uh, troop uh, withdrawal. And at the same time, that should have a corresponding uh, response uh, from Hamas militants. The fighting by both sides must stop. Well, the UN Secretary General speaking there. Now, if you just joined us, we're talking about the Middle East as Israel declares a unilateral ceasefire with Hamas in the Gaza Strip. That said, few people believe that the tensions between the two sides will be over. The 22-day conflict has left more than 1,200 Palestinians dead, with more than 5,000 wounded. Many of the victims are children and civilians, but will this painful conflict lead to any end to the hostilities? And will both sides think twice before starting a new battle? And even why to leave my home? Where to go? To go to Jabalia camp? Nothing is secure. The mosque were attacked. Schools. No place in Gaza Strip is secure.
question that has to be asked is, for all those children and all those innocent people who have been killed in this conflict, were they war crimes? Were they war crimes that resulted in the deaths of the innocents during this conflict?